everyone. Welcome to Connect Kids. We're so glad that you're here with us today. Let's get ready to sing, dance, and celebrate Jesus in worship. The fruit of the spirit is not a coconut. Fruit of the spirit is not a coconut. If you want to be a coconut, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the Spirit, cause the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Oh, the fruit of the Spirit's not a banana. The fruit of the Spirit's not a banana. You want to be a banana? You might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the Spirit, cause the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love and joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Oh, the fruit of the spirit's not a lemon. The fruit of the spirit's not a lemon. If you wanna be a lemon, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit, cause the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love and joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Oh, the fruit of the spirit's not a watermelon. The fruit of the spirit's not a watermelon. If you wanna be a watermelon, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit, cause the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self control. Hmm. So good. Great job worshiping. Let's take a seat and focus on our video for today. The fruit of the spirit we're talking about today is joy. Joy is being happy because God loves me. It's not always easy to have joy. Like when the rooster crows at the crack of dawn, waking you up on your only day to sleep in. The worst. But we can learn a lot about having joy from a guy named David in the Bible. David had some good and not so good things going for him. One good thing is that he was next in line to be the king of God's people. You would think that the idea of being king would give David joy. One bad thing is that the current king named Saul wanted to kill David. Yeah, that's a bummer. There were a lot of things happening in David's life to cause him to lose his joy. Take this story for example. David found out that God's people were being attacked by the Philistines. So he asked God for advice. And God told David to take his men and go fight the Philistines. They went and they fought, winning the battle. Sounds pretty good, huh? Well, Saul got word that David was fighting the Philistines. That became a pretty big problem. Saul had all of his men surround the city where David was in hopes of taking him captive. David found out that Saul was planning to attack him and he prayed to ask God for help. How was David able to have joy? The whole situation sounds pretty terrible to me. Well, David was able to escape the city and hide in the desert where he and his men were safe from Saul. It seems like David could have gotten mad at God and Saul. But David chose to have joy because he knew God was with him. Later, he wrote a psalm that said, I will celebrate and be joyful because you, Lord, have saved me. So you see, David didn't let his difficult situation affect his joy because his joy came from knowing God loved him. Now, you might not have a mean king chasing after you, but you will go through things in life that will make it hard to have joy. Take Up, for example. Let's see if Up loses joy when he goes through a difficult situation. How do you feel, Up? You see, Up didn't let those darts ruin his joy because his joy comes from God. Yep, the more I spend time reading God's word, the more I can see that God loves me and that's why I have joy. So the next time you're in a tough situation, just remember, joy is a fruit of the spirit. And joy is, is being, being happy, happy because, because God, God loves, loves me. me. <laughs> Come on, it's okay. It is far from okay. It is so far from okay that it's only an O and not a K. It's gonna be fine. Does this look fine to you? Well, it looks like you've had quite a day on the farm. I 
shouldn't be this way. I really wanted to try, Bobby. I did, but from the very beginning, every animal has been against me. The animals aren't against you. Carl woke me up at the crack of dawn. That's Carl's job. Well, he's doing an incredible job. <laughs> I wanted to get my mind off Jake and collect my thoughts. I saw a quiet spot, but I didn't know that it was the hen house. The next thing I know, I riled up all the chickens and they just kept flying at me. There were beaks, beaks everywhere. Well, you were in their house. Are you always this positive? Of course. You know, Uncle Earl always says, negative thinking only leads to negative living. <laughs> You just gotta change your perspective. You know, even when things go wrong, they're not that bad. Easy for you to say. You're not a million miles away from your home, away from your friends, your family, air conditioning. Well, see, there's that word again. How do you condition air? That's not the point. I'm away from everything that I know and love and I'm in a place that I don't understand at all. That's gotta be tough. I'm sorry, CJ. Hey, you know what? I'm gonna do your chores for the rest of today. No, you don't have to do that. Well, I want to, you know? It's the loving thing to do. What have you got left? Um. All right, feed Cooter. <laughs> I can do that. Are you sure? Absolutely. tootly. You go ahead and get used to the farm. I wanna finish that up for you. Thanks, Bobby. Yeah, no problem. You know, I know that you're gonna find some joy here. You're gonna love it. Yay! <sighs> Maybe I will like it here. Not at the moment! Sudden. Oh. Oh. Well, that's better. For a second, I thought I blacked out or something. What oh. happened? Oh, well, Tudor got scared when I was feeding him. Oh. See? I told you these animals are trying to kill us. Oh, no, it happens. I think a bee flew in, and you know, Tudor, he got scared. He started stomping, and he, uh, he stepped on my foot. <laughs> oh, I'm so oh. sorry. Oh. You know, then I tried to get my foot in, no pun intended, and well, that just seemed to make things worse than a dog losing his bone. <laughs> How are you laughing about this? <laughs> Cause it's funny. You could have gotten hurt. Oh, this? This is nothing. You should have seen the day I fell into the pig pen. Ooh, -wee. I was smelly for four Saturdays. Now that's funny. Yeah, I smelled like poo. <sighs> Bobby. This makes no sense. How can you laugh when bad things happen? Well, because even though things can get bad, I can have joy knowing God loves me. You know, Uncle Earl, he always says, God's in everything, even the rainstorms. Clearly, Uncle Earl has never been trapped outside without an umbrella. Oh yeah, that happened just last week. <sighs> None of this makes sense. Not everything is gonna work out like you planned, CJ. But that doesn't mean God doesn't love you. I mean, it's like the farm. Farm living is tough. I'll agree with that. But look what I get to do every day. I mean, I get to talk to animals every day. I get to spend time with my aunt and my uncle. And I get to know cousins from across the way that I didn't expect to see again. All that good comes along with the bad. Maybe. Plus. I think I heard a little bit of laughter coming from you. You know, that's the first time you laughed since you got here. I'm sorry it was because of your fiasco. Don't be. Troubles are gonna come your way, but are you gonna let them get you down or are you gonna be joyful? <laughs> I have been a sad Sally since I got here. <laughs> Didn't it feel good just to feel a little bit of joy? It did. <gasps> Snake! Oh. <laughs> It's just a 
dick. <laughs> It'll take a little bit, but I'm sure in time you'll be friends with all the critters. <laughs> Maybe not Jake. Oh. Sorry, Jake. No. Oh, Jake. You just give it some time. She's just learning about you. Oh, it's okay. Whoa, what a cool video. We hope that you learned something fun and interesting and you can take it home to share with your friends and family. We hope to see you next time here at Connect Kids. Have a great week. Mm -hmm.